Today I'm gonna to show you guys how the Subaru Solterra parking assistance works. Now this is not meant to replace you, more so just something to help you in situations where maybe you don't feel comfortable parking solely on your own. This will help guide you in the direction, whether you're parking like this, backing into a space, pulling forward into a space, or even parallel parking. I'm gonna show you the parallel parking here later in this video. By the way, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos just like this, all on Subaru related topics. So if you enjoy that type of content, then consider clicking that subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free to watch my videos. And if you guys get value out of this video and you learn something new or you just think it's cool, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. So first we're gonna put this in gear just by toggling this over to the right. That has taken some getting used to. Uh, by the way, this is one of our demo vehicles. So if you see the sold sign here, it's a vehicle that we own by the dealership. It's not one that can be sold. And uh, we have it here for test drive purposes and, and making content like this. So this is not a customer's car, if you were curious. I, I would never test drive a customer's sold car. So I'm gonna just simulate how this would look. So say you're driving along here, you see an open parking space over here to the left and you wanna park there. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is pull up perpendicular to that parking space, just like this. And then on the display up here or on this control panel, we click on the button right here. This is the parking assistance button. And it's gonna show us parking spaces available also to the right, so left and right. We're gonna select that. And you'll see that it's kind of, uh, well, this one's actually pretty centered, but say it's a little off centered. We can click this right here and select, we're gonna select that we wanna back in. And here in a second, I'll show you, it's really nice. We can, okay, so it is off-centered. So see how it doesn't look like it's, it's in the right position. You can use these arrows to center that. And then I'm going to click okay. We're gonna click on start. And then it's gonna tell you to release the brake. So, Word of caution, if you're trying this in the future with your Solterra, do this at your own risk. This is something that, again, you don't want to use this to replace you, so use your own uh, judgment and caution. Although this vehicle has sensors and things like that, it's still a piece of technology and, and who knows, um, that could fail. So just you know, make sure you're keeping your eyes on the situation and all your surroundings. But I'm gonna release the brake here and the vehicle is going to start moving for us. So you can see here the steering wheel is moving. I'm, I'm quite used to it now, but it is a weird feeling at first. And uh, you'll see here in a moment where the uh, sensors are going to detect objects around us. So one thing that I do find really annoying about this is the anytime you're in reverse in the Solterra, it beeps like this. There may be a setting to turn that off. I haven't spent enough time with our Solterra yet to, to figure out if that is uh, a setting you can turn off, but as you can imagine, that can be very annoying. Um, so yeah, it's backing up here. It's very, it's it's pretty well centered. So and it shows you exactly where you're at. This is asking me to register this space. Um, I'll just click register, but it's just confirming the registration of that, that space. So. That's how it works. Uh, you can do this backing in or pulling in forward. And now I'm gonna show you guys how it works if you decide you wanna parallel park. It's important to note that with technology like this, it's not a perfect system. And there are situations where it's not going to work for you. And this is a prime example. So I actually thought this would work. I parked the Forester here, my Outback right here. And I'm trying to parallel park right here, but it's telling me that it's too narrow. So I'm gonna to have to move these cars around and we're gonna try this in a, a much wider area. However, I was able to physically or, or manually parallel park this on my own because I can visually tell that we have enough room, but the system is, I guess, conservative and cautious in that it's uh, telling us we don't have enough space right here to do this, this parallel parking. Okay, so I've got my Outback here and the Forester is up there. So we're gonna try to do this parallel parking See how this works. I'm gonna pull up right here, click on parking assistance button, select our parking space. 
And again, if you need to recenter it, you can click that right there and, and adjust it. But this appears to be uh, a good spot. So I'm gonna click on start. And I'm gonna release my brake or my foot off the brake. If there is any sort of obstruction, if it looks like it's going to hit, the vehicle is supposed to stop. I have not done this particular uh, position here before. So let's see if it'll work. I'm gonna release my foot and I'm gonna be focused pretty heavily on where the car is at, not so much filming right now, just cause I wanna be extremely cautious that we don't hit something. So again, this is something you would use in really uh, tight situations or, or situations where you otherwise may not feel comfortable getting into a, a tight parallel parking situation. It's getting pretty close to my car there, but it is stopping and it's coming to a gradual stop. And uh, you can see it's, it's looking where the back bumper is on that Forester. It's moving back to a line. Oh, <laughs> it gets really close there. Probably a little closer than comfort, but I'm trying to let the car do its thing and just be cautious with it. So it looks like it's doing quite a bit here to uh, to adjust. And you can always cancel this by tapping the brake or or tapping the uh, the button down here. All right, there we go. So I'm parallel parked here. It's shown me a visual, a bird's eye view of where we're at. And uh, let's get out of the car. Let's see what this looks like. I wanna see how centered we are. I think this is a good spot. I mean, this is pretty close to, you know, it's it's not as close to the curb as maybe I would like, but you know, if you're parking street side somewhere, this will maybe at least help you get in that tight spot and then you can manually adjust from there. But, but yeah, I mean, overall, this is pretty decent for, for what it is. Well, if anything, I hope you guys found some entertainment out of this video. I personally don't think that I would rely on this that often, only in dire situations where maybe I, I really feel like I can't fit into a parking space myself, but it is cool to test out new technologies like this. And uh, I'm sure you guys will let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the like button. And if you guys haven't done so already and you like videos like this, all on Subaru related content, then click that subscribe button down below. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.